Hello there everybody, Maya from MyQuest here, I'm back again, and as you just saw in the little bit of a time lapse, we put this little flower farm, flower shaker together. Oh, look at the iron golems burning off over there. It has one main purpose for me, and sure, getting the flowers are great, I can use them for dye and then bone meal and all that, but I'm after the seeds. The seeds are what I need to help create my great wheat field. Right now it's still just a baby wheat field, and I've put probably a double chest worth of seeds into it, so... I'm gonna need quite a bit more, and this is my master plan to come up with a needed seed. So yeah, it's a pretty basic design. It pushes this platform back and forth. I got a dispenser under here, bone mealing up. And as it shakes, it will break off everything that the bone meal has created, which is great. And I'll just be laying there and I can run around and pick it up. These blocks here are the only blocks I've found that are slabs that can give off light. So I'll probably be using a lot more of these. They come from the better end mod. I believe they're called Neon Cactus. And yeah, this is the slab version of them. So I'm gonna have to get a lot more of that. This is where I put bone meal. Bone meal goes in there, travels through hoppers to a dispenser that's under there and fills that dispenser up. Over here, you can see I've got some flowers saved up, but this is what I'm really after. Seeds, still not nearly enough. This here is a little contraption I like to build wherever bone meal might be able to be created at a farm. It's always nice. You put uh, your bone mealable items in here, compostable items, I guess I should say. They go into the hopper, goes into the composter, eventually into the hopper, and into the barrel. Now you may be wondering, how do I have so much bone meal? Right? It's not from the shaker, it's not from this farm, it's actually from the bones from my mob farm back at base. That mob farm has been extremely productive. Okay, and before we get started with today's build, I want to show you guys just a little something I did. So as you remember, we have two iron farms. The I call them the double iron ejectors, or die for short. One of the farms, I decided to strip down to pretty much its bare bone state. So this uses as little material as possible. This hasn't changed much at all, but this has. I've taken everything down, I took off the sides. You can see they're still here. They push each other around, but they never get pushed off. I've never seen that happen, and I'm gonna say it's not possible. Probably is, but yeah, so far so good. Really easy one to build. Look at that. Someone's trying to steal my iron farm. This tango, you nut. Well, we all know Tango's the king of iron farms, right? I guess he approves of my design if he's trying to steal it. It's like he slime blocked himself to it. He's hanging on and trying to Mary Poppins out of here. Huh. 
Well, keep trying. This thing isn't going anywhere, Tango. Uh, by the way, huge fan. You rock, bud. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's get started on that build, shall we? Okay, I've recovered from my death. And as you can see here, there's a little bit of a area set out. This is uh, the footprint of the next farm we're going to build today. This is uh, the material I should be needing. Hopefully nothing else than that. But I always seem to forget stuff. So there's probably stuff missing. Down here, this is going to be where I have the collection area. And then up above are going to be some farms. Not sure how many just yet, but I'm going to put cactus farms in here. I find myself needing the cactus space quite often. Besides needing the green dye, I actually really like the Midori blocks, and those are made from cactus paste. So I want to, you know, just gather quite a bit of the cactus to have on hand whenever I need it. And this farm's going to help me do that. So I guess without any further ado, let's get to building. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
everybody, here it is. We've got a working quad cactus farm. There's four layers of cactus farming goodness. I don't know about my choice to use gold as a main building block on these. Uh, yeah, I had to go back to the gold farm and pretty much clear myself out. I'm gonna have to do a lot of AFK in over there to recoup, if especially if I wanna build anything else out of gold out here. I don't know why I started using gold, just figured why not since I have the gold farm right there, technically. But yeah, this is the farm. Again, I want to stress that this area is mainly industrial. Um, I'll come back and decorate things later, but not really as I'm making the farm itself. The initial build out here is more about making sure things are in, working correctly, mobs won't be spawning, and uh, yeah, we're collecting like we should be. Then as inspiration hits, of course, and I see fit, you know, I'll throw in decoration as I come up with things. So down here, you can see this is our storage. It's, these are tier three barrels. You can tell by the diamonds, so they have plenty of storage. That's equal to a double chest full of loot possible. And as you can see over here, we've got oh, over 100 already. Not too bad, 107. So this farm should be producing really well. Coming over here, this is the light to let me know if the storage is full. This thing's on, you know, we got problems. And we got to free up some storage, but this is a lot of storage. Should take quite a while to fill it up. Not the most spectacular of farms, a cactus farm, but hey, there it is. And the industrial district is starting to fill out. Last night, I was out here in the industrial district working on just some basic maintenance. And uh, you can see I kind of overdid it a little bit. I cleared out some of that area over there, but I slabbed up the entire area. Yep, there is now turf slab everywhere protecting me from spawns and saving me from having to light up everything and it's just a nice clean look i think blank palette for the future farms to go in and not have to watch my back while i was doing all that last night i kept seeing something out of the corner of my eye the cactus farm we had just built yesterday and while it's doing its job which is all i really want it was kind of bugging me it's just a big box right it's a gold box sure but it's a box so I wanted to add a little more decoration to it. Not much just yet, but I changed up the look slightly so that I'm not as disappointed every time I see it. We'll still theme this a little more later. As for now, I'm pretty happy with the look. And if you wanted to see it, bam, there it is. Yeah, look at that. It's all bulked out. Got some nice uh, nylium whatever pillar things. And yeah, it's like this the whole way around. Symmetrical except for, you know, the doorway. And I kind of like it. The bulkier look is always better than pure flat, right? Really quick. That's what we've gathered so far since it's been here. Not too shabby. And I did change up a little bit of the pattern on the top. Not that it matters much, but if I'm putting down carpet to stop spawning up here, I might as well try to do something with it, right? And then see this thing down there? This contraption is super useful for me. It's for farming something that normally you wouldn't really want to farm. And I had never seen any kind of farm for it. So I just started tinkering around and made up my own little design. And this is it. You can see down here, we got one of these things. Yep, and some of this action going on. Right. And then back here, got one of those babies and a little bit of a collection area. Now, I'm not going to tell you guys what this is just yet. I want to hear some guesses. What is this? What do you guys think it is? What does it do? Does it produce shears? It does not. So yeah, if anyone can tell me what this is specifically for, uh, props to you. You're a Minecraft pro. Oh yeah, and one other thing. Hypno Joe, you can't guess because you know what this is. So, ha, huh, you don't count. Okay, so we're about to call the episode. But before we do, I want to do one more thing with you guys, but I can't do it here. I got to go back to home base. So let me head on over there and we can finish up. Okay, so here we are back at base and our goal wall. I've made some changes, like here we have Tango's Kelp Farm, Redo Iron Farm. That's actually the iron farm over here. What I mean by that is we're going to take it out and decorate the face of the wall with decoration rather than function. And yeah, is there anything else? Uh, creeper farm. 
Yeah, Creeper Farm out there in the industrial district. I wasn't going to do one initially, but you know, I'm probably gonna need the gunpowder, so why not? But yeah, here we have all of the current possible future projects. So once again, everybody, if any of you have any suggestions for the next video, any of these projects you would like to see me work on, then leave a comment down below. Let me know which it is and I'll pick something for next time. So I guess from the site of my home base, storage base base, I'm gonna say goodbye and yeah. Well, I've been distracted enough in this episode, so I think I'll leave that for later maybe. So for now, everybody, hope you had a good time. Take care, I'll see y'all next time. Good vibes. I'm too blessed to give in.